All right. Hello, world. How's everybody out there today? Uh, you're not going to get music from this channel tonight because I am tired of the music that this. I've only got like a few. Oh, I got like a hundred something songs in there, but I've heard them all so many times. And I don't have a good. I haven't researched yet how to go get streamed music or whatever that's fine to play. So. No music tonight. We'll do it. Well, I've got music going in my headphones. You should have music going in your headphones too. Um, at some point, I will build something that will let us sync that up. At least that's the goal. Um, sweet. So picking up where we left off, uh, gotta jump into some, what's that link? Who knows? Um, It's all good. Um, my charm. Oh yeah, I'm really digging the idea of building a tool. Of building a tool. I really should get it so that I could get a full thing, but then I actually need to see what's going on. Um, to like drop all my little snippets into my grimoire my developer notebook um and then also publish them but so that way they're executable and in my notes and even though they're in both places it would they'd like all sync off the single place because like right now i do a bunch of copy and paste between the two things um and it'd be really cool to just have them go so that would be awesome that will be awesome when i work on that i may do that in rust uh and one of the discords that i'm on a bunch of people do rust stuff so uh, i am now interested in doing rust but before we do that, where is I forget that you guys can't hear the music, but that's okay. Dev. Oh, that was the early concat tests. We don't need those anymore. We can get rid of that. Wow. Really need it all? Uh, I don't know what all that is. Looks like installed all of Node right there. Random assembly. Oh yeah, this is some of the first stuff I did in the random assembly. Okay, that's fine. What I'm looking for right now, if I can find it, is a script that I set up for to make for to make uh, tests of the various uh, transitions that are available, and I don't know what I did with it. It's not an assembler. Simply, I don't know. Dollar splitter, maybe. I would have thought that I would have made it its own thing. Browser clean sweep, Danjo for beginners. Get rid of that. We're done with that. Django scratch pads. We can handle that. FFMag world CLI launch pad. That's API now. Assembler. Downloader wouldn't be in there. Splitter. Oh, did I actually put it in Scratchpad? That would be smart, even though it should probably be its own thing. FFmpeg concat transition samples. There we go. And I got to figure out if I want to re... I'm going to actually redo this. So we're going to do this one real quick. Well, hopefully quick. Today has not been a day of going quick. Amazon also has been on fire today. Um, and I think I spent a couple hours trying to solve something that was actually an Amazon problem because I still haven't solved it and I can't figure out what's going on. But then I saw that Amazon was having problems. So I'm just like, I'm tapping out. Once they get their stuff solved, I'll go look. And if my thing's still a problem, then I'm, I'll feel it, figure it out. But if that fixes it, I'm going to be frustrated because I will have spent a long time doing it. Um, So 
So this just goes through. So there's there's a tr set of transitions that's on the WGL or the FF MPEG and cat. I should actually get to this. Where is it? So this readme format is what I'm going to be using to do my stuff. Um, I guess I don't really need. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I don't guess everything really needs to go in the developer notebook. So maybe it's just not the, I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Um, FFmpeg and cat transition samples. FFmpeg and cat GL transformations. Oh, actually, yeah, this is cool. Uh, this can go in the thing. GL transitions. Ah, transitions. Transition. 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 Set, sung to the thing of tradition. Don't need that one. There's a duration test. And get rid of that. Get rid of that one. Not really sure what's going on there. I'm looking somewhere I've got the list of What did I do with them? Oh, that was testing how to get the second string. That's cool. Um, I'm going to leave that there for now. We'll put that in a thing later. Where did I have? Somewhere I put a full list of all of the transitions. But I don't know what I did with it. Maybe that's in the assembly? No? OK, those are the ones that I like but I want to go and produce all of them. Nope. Um, I don't know what I did with them. I had them. I know I made them. I may have to just go make them again. Oh, I know what I did with them. They're in extract matching lines. Yeah, because that, that's the copy of it that I pulled down. So extract, extract snippets from matching lines. Oh, yeah. They're actually, oh, they're all sitting right here. <laughs> That's literally the thing that I wrote. Um, so what's a good way? Where's my do this? Mm. 
But really, really what I want to do is just print the list. Because I want to just copy the list. So let's grab this, because this is what I'm looking for. So I want all these. Transitions is that list. There's so FFmpeg concat listed eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. But there's way more than that that are available, and I think this thing will actually do them all. So we're gonna see. Now the names of these, some of them have casing differences, so we'll actually see how that goes. Um, but the other thing that I want to do here is. The, in the current ones that I'm doing, so like this test is a circle open at zero milliseconds, so it's it's really a smash cut. But like the clip is thirty seconds long, so you got to get to you know fifteen before you see the transition. I want to actually make. I want to make the time that it takes to get to the transitions less, especially because some like so some of them are like ten seconds, right? So, but still, you really only should have to watch a few seconds before the thing. So, I'm going to burn all these and then do that, and I'm going to do it for that full list, and I'm going to let it run over that night because it takes a while to do that. But for now. What I really need to start with is storage. So let's do um, MP4. Clips. Well, I guess, hmm. Oh, okay, this makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna burn all these. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do this stuff. So, like, source. Output that way I can find stuff. So we're ready to go find these somewhere. Dev scratch pad, which I finally moved up in there. FMPEG transition samples. It's a source. I'm going to put that there. Whoa, I kind of freaked out. Get rid of that. Eighteen seconds. Okay, that's 15 seconds. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make this go down to uh, 15 seconds. I just want to have both of them be 15 seconds, and then I'll make smaller versions from there. So we're going to use FFmpeg for this. Dev. Store Nope. Storage. FFmpeg concat transitions. Source FFmpeg input one MP4. So I think you just do T out fifteen one fifteen. 
15 sec. 15.mp4. How about that? What's that going to do? And I'm okay. So there's a quicker way to do this if you use this copy command. But it goes off keyframes. So you, I, th I think my understanding of FFmpeg is you wouldn't necessarily get the exact 15 second thing. So this should be 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Hooray. 15. And then this is 15. And so now what we can do, I'm going to call this dash 15. So of course the trick with this music is some of it's not for me. All right, so the first thing we need to do, so the source files are going to be different or whatever. I just got to figure out how to make them. So the longest ones are going to be 15 seconds a piece. There's a 10 second thing. So that'd be five seconds in, five seconds out. I think, right? I just want to figure out the the mat. So I'm also going to upload these at some point. So I've got them as reference. Um, well, so I'll have them as reference, but I'm also going to upload them so somebody else can see them as reference too. So I want to. I don't want to make them too tedious. So why don't we run some tests? Um, Uh, so let's do for ones that are less than a second, which is going to be half second. So you could do two seconds a piece, which would end up being a, a second and a half transition, second half. Maybe we do four. Let's look at what four seconds looks like. FM peg input one timeout. You know what I could do? is this, which would be for I in range of 1 to 15, since we already have 15. Uh, trying to figure out if I want to print it or if I actually want to run it. Let's actually run it. Oops, I'm in totally the wrong thing. Let's get this working seat a little bit better. Um, make files.py, whatever. User bin environment python three. And then we're gonna want OS, because we're just gonna call this for I in range from one to 15 command equals F, uh, FFM peg I one dash one five dot MP four TO I One dash. Uh, I kind of wanted to be 
How do you do... F string... Uh, print F. I don't know what the call it is. So I want to have zero, like if it's less than whatever, I'm not going to take close. String formats are great. Okay, yeah. F strings. New and improved way to format strings. Okay, stop throwing ads in there that are messing with the formatting, please. That's so frustrating. Arbitrary expressions. But you can also call functions. Multi-line. Okay, that's cool. I'm learning more about f-strings, this is nice. But how? Braces. Backslashes, okay. F string Python leading zero. Make use of Z fill to pad any string integer or float with zeros. It's valid for Python two and three. So we should be able to do I Z fill two dot MP four. So this slide, left pad any string, yeah, okay, so you can't pad an int. I don't think you could. But if you string it, then you can. There we go. Cool. OS system. So we'll just give this a minute to run. And then we'll run it again for twos, which I could have put a loop in there for one and two, but I'm just gonna edit it. And this way I've got a bunch of stuff to play with for the transition maker. No idea which one's on. Trying to figure out how, so I want to do this in an automated fashion, right? Um, it's going to continue, right?
I should get back into the Vim command so I can move up and down lines and stuff. Uh, Alright, so how do we want to do this? We're going to have the two files. So one, I just need to test one is really the trick. There's definitely a hair in my eye. There it is. All right, sweet. Now I can see, or now I can not have something fighting with me. Data structure. Yeah, okay. So let's just do this for a minute. Uh, Just coming out the whole thing. So directional warp. So I want to see one where it's at a second. And then What we can do is so I'm just gonna straight run the command from here. You know, whatever. I'm gonna hard code it for a second. Just I want to get an example of what uh, of the start and end points for this. So t. So this is the transitions JSON output path. Source storage, sorry. F of MPEG and cat tests output. Sample MP4. One dash three. Oh, I need to put that in quotes. I mean, there's no spaces in it, but still use quotes. Two dash three. Cause what you can do is like set up some math to basically say, Hey, I want to keep padding it with a, you know, a couple seconds on either side, which I think is what I'm going to try and do. Just got to figure out the math behind it real quick. Just be a little exercise of, of math and getting stuff running. Um, I think I can run this now, right? I'll probably run. That went fast. Did it do it? Yeah, there we go. So now we got like, here's a three second version, right? Cool. Output did nothing. Crap. Output sample. Why didn't that work? Well, oh, here we go. Fail command probe show format.
Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, it's going for an F string. Okay. But I don't want an F string. Output path. In path one. In path two. So why didn't this work? What happened? Cat error, command failed, FF probe, print format, da 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 No such file or directory. Did I call it sources? No, source. There's a leading zero. And it's funny because like Apple on their finder will actually show it. And there's de definitely faster ways for me to do this, but this is like penance right now. Um, but like Apple actually keeps that, like it recognizes numbers and keeps them lined up. So like when I'm looking at the finder, they're all gonna be lined up. If I look on the command line, they won't be, but like, That just added a whole bunch of complexity to it, right? I had to I had to add complexity to make it, and then I'd have to add complexity to deal with it. Leading zeros are just not your friend. Visually appealing, but pain. Oh bummer. Thought that was gonna do it. No such file directory. Now what did I do? Does not exist. Oh, because that's output. All right, take six. Uh, Vampire Weekend, ladies and gentlemen. A punk. See, this is no joke in terms of how long it takes because it has to like actually make the transition and actually do all the wishing of it. That's like a four second file or something. Five. Five second files. Yeah. So I think I want it to be, let's go see what the four second versions look like. Oops. Wait. Oh yeah, I've got Y in there, so it's going to overwrite it. So 10 seconds to make a seven second file.
All right, we're going to play around with this as well one more time. Like, I'm going to make a bunch of these, so I want it to be, you know, cool. That's funny. I want a little bit more on the back end. I don't know why. I think I do want the four seconds back in there. Let me watch that one more time. I should have saved it. So let's save this one, which is three, four. I think it'd be four, four. No, I need to, what's that font doing? Uh, I'll do it in a second. Jimi Hendrix, Jungle. Ooh, that took a long time. Oh, it is 21, okay. Can't tell the fonts anymore. This goes right up there. Why doesn't it go back to where I left it? Okay, yeah, so four four and four will be the the start. And then for the other ones. For the transitions that are one second or less. And then so that puts three seconds on the outside of it. But let's do one that's a little bit longer. I want to see a six second transition. Let me actually save this. Four, four with one. Three, four with one, just so I can have some kind of memory of what's going on here. Those are not long-term names. Those are just short-term names. Like if I look at them tomorrow, I'm not gonna have any idea what they mean. But so we're gonna do six section, six seconds on a directional warp. So if we want to have four seconds, that would be seven seconds. Let's try eight seconds just to give a little extra padding since the thing's so long. Because like six seconds should turn into th a three, subtracting three from each. So that'd be five and five. So it's a little bit longer than that single one that we had. Oh, 
Let's actually just keep it the same. Let's start with the same, see what happens. So seven minus three is four seconds. So it should be the four. Oh no, those turned into three. I feel like I'm doing weird wrong math now. Six seconds. So if we have a 12 second thing with a six second clip in the middle and that six seconds overwrites, it's going to be eleven, ten, nine. Right. So it's 12, 12. And then the six seconds becomes subtracts three over it because it's three from each. I think that's right. So this should be nine seconds. Let's just try this and see if it's nine seconds. But if it's not, okay, whatever. Let's just see if it's nine seconds because it's going to take a little while to burn it in anyways. If it is nine seconds though, I think we want to make it a little bit longer. No, that would be right. Uh, maybe, wait. Six seconds with one second in the middle is two and a half on each side. We'll see what happens here. Is it done? It's done. That went faster, maybe because I was trying to do math in my head. Wait, why is it six seconds? Something seems wrong. That started as soon as it hit, right? Yeah. Oh, of course, you need the full six seconds, so. Wait a minute. So if we want three seconds on each side of that, we do nine and nine. Okay. I don't know where my head is on that. Rendering. We're going to put a little note up about the music. That font's a little bright. It doesn't need to be that bright. Hopefully that looks okay. There you go. So 12 seconds. Three. Slow.
<laughs> now so I'm sitting here thinking, if I'm going to do this... Do I actually want to do fade in and fade out as well? I don't. I mean, I, that would make them better. It wouldn't be that hard to do, because I could make the inputs again. Where did I make the inputs? Yeah, I'm going to add that. It's like, whatever, we're making a thing, so make it. FMPEG fade. So I only need fade in. for the ones, input one. The uh, fade T in start. equals 0 0.1. I want a little bit, just like a 10, eh, 0 0.2. Duration. One point two. Timeout is that. Oh, that one actually won't work. So they all need to be at least two seconds long. And the three or the four second is the one that we're going to go with probably. So let's do this. Oh, I didn't take out the leading zeros. That's okay. It'll be an okay thing. All right, let's see what this did. I must go. Today's operation is to guide in. That's not bad. I must go. Today's operation. Duration's too long. Zero point nine. We're going to add a Y flag here. So we can overwrite. Let's 
Yeah, like these are test files, right? But I'm going to also publish them. So let's get them right. Moscow. Today's operation is to guide in. And of course, really. <laughs> I'm about to go down a rabbit hole, but I'm not actually going to do it. What you could do is actually automatically put text on the screen about what the transition is. I, Moscow, today's operation is to guide in. All right, let's just run those. That'll take a minute, right? All right, while we're doing that, let's see what else we got going on. So this is an S assembler. And all this stuff is doing its job. Let's back out for a second and see. I think we actually need to get to Yeah, so I need to know how long I want the transitions to be for each one of the transitions before I can do anything here. Log output, reduce clips down longer than 10 seconds. That's another tool. Um, yeah, so okay. Uh, I just need to get that working because the, the next step is to look like I've got the fade in and fade out and all the clips doing and going in randomly. So all that stuff's going, um, it's just refinement, but in order to do the refinement, I need to see, I need to see the clips, I, Moscow. Today's up. which that's going to be too short, but whatever. Eventually, I move make files up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, so where is the mass assembler smoke test? That's all working. Like, here's the one. So that fade in is pretty nice. Circle thing or whatever. Another circle. See, I don't want to do two circles in a row. So I've got the weighted stuff in there too. Yeah. Everything's ready in, except for the transitions. And then I've got... I wonder if this is actually still running. Probably is. Hopefully it is. Certainly looks like it is. Um, yeah, I guess it's still running. Cool. So I've got the, I'm making the clip. So I've downloaded a bunch of the videos. I'm making the clips over here. Yeah, once the transitions are ready, that's the, that's it actually. That's good to go. I've got another project that I want to do. So a bunch of the clips are too long or longer than 10 seconds, which is what the filter filters. Um, so it won't add a 10 second, longer than 10 second clip to the, to the video. So I got another one that I want to do where I go look at all those longer clips and actually clip them down to some random time, less than 10, in between three and 10 seconds. Um, which is going to be a little complicated because I've got to go grab a CSV file and well, actually, I guess I could make a new CSV file for supplements. I don't know. I'll figure out how to do that. Oops. Sorry. Anyways, that's basically going. So let's see how long that goes. Okay. That's cool.
So let's take out the Z fill for that. Okay, cool. And then make that a two, which realistically we could make it three. Um, yeah, we'll just make those three, that's fine. Storage. I've just started moving stuff in the storage directory, so I still got to get used to it. So there's our sources. Wait. Oh, 15 doesn't have the transition in it. How important is that going to be? Also, transition still works at like this time, right? Yeah. Why didn't that have me? Oh, wait. Yeah, so Sorry, I didn't have volume. The volume wasn't on. I think 14 seconds is going to be enough. Yeah, because it's 10 seconds, there'd be four seconds on either side. That would be fine. Okay. Um, all right, so let's figure out the... Fade in, fade out. See, this is where I put some stuff in here and not in my notes. And I really wish it was in both places. But what we should be able to do Oops. Oh, so we're going to start with two dash fifteen. That in before filter complex fade in duration, fade out duration. So Fade out type duration three. Offset equals. So the duration is going to be one second. I'm just going to make it be one second. So offset is I minus one. So the first thing we need to do is change this to a one. And make this offset. Audio fade. Kind of doesn't matter, but we're just going to keep it the same. Offset. And then map to two dash I dot MP4. Four. Whoops.
I should have read that. What doesn't it like? Invalid syntax at the offset. What's wrong with that? Oh, single quotes, single quotes, single quotes. I don't know what I just did. There we go. So let's see if this works. Which one was that? Two? Three seconds. Three seconds. Still 15 seconds long. Because I didn't set the TO of it. I don't know the order here. TO should just be I, right? And now we're doing this. Let's see what that does. Did a thing. Three seconds. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna like that better than just like slamming the end of the clip. Again, if we're gonna do this, like let's do it right. Or do it up or whatever. I really should open those and let them like debubble a little bit. So we'll just build them all. Give that a minute. Remove leading zeros. zeros new file read me md being zeros Adding zeros. Ah. See, so I gotta figure out if I want to put the user bin environmental Python on all these. I do kind of like it. Um, for I in for number in range one to a hundred. I don't want to do a hundred. Let's just do ten. It'll prove the point. Um, print string number dot z fill. Right. There you go. Is there a way in range to tell it to include the final number? 
Wow, no information is available on that page. That's kind of crazy. What happened there? Amazon caught on fire. That's what happened. Range, start, stop, step. Nope, okay. I wasn't sure if you could just do like a, you know, end or whatever so that you didn't have to like, and it's not that you, like it's hard to do the math or whatever, but still throws me a little bit that it's not a... Uh, Or if I thought one of them would be off, I thought it would be that one. There you go. Oh my god, right here. Continue. All right, so that's cool. We got all those. Get a fade out on me. Zoop. Maybe. Uh oh, it's going forever. There we go. That's cool. Just so we know that those don't have the transitions in them or the fades in them. Cool. All right, so now at leading zeros, we can close that. Fade outs, transition samples, TJSON, here we go. Okay, so this was nine, nine, and six. I'm gonna run that one more time with the fades just to see how that looks. Yeah, I'm burning up some CPU over here these days. All this video stuff. Let's uh, get some moving. Uh, oh, actually, keep that open. Sorry, keep that for show notes. Watching transitions dry. You know it's coming, right? I'm gonna have text overlay my video of MPEG. Use the draw text video filter. Input video filter draw text font file path to font. Text, stack overflow, white, box one, box black, box blah, 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 blah. So I was going to wonder if you could do it for just like, you know, fade in, fade out. But like, let's just put it at the bottom for each one. Box 
Box one, box five, black. Oh, X and Y. Okay. So input VF. So I think we can do. This is going to start getting crazy, isn't it? Where's our. So that's leading zeros. Let's close leading zeros. That's not really where we are. Parsing lines, not where we are. FFmpeg. Whoops, don't do that. Scratch pad. I want these in here. So we got all that. Whoa, did it automatically take? It took the slashes out of it. Didn't it? No. How did that happen? Where'd this come from? Oh, that was mine. Okay. So we should be able to do this, right? Uh, so let's get to our inputs. Input. Oh, this is only overlaying it on Oh, okay, so it would be two things. We do the transition and we do it. Okay, so we don't have to mess with this right now. That's fine. We can do that later if we want to. That's cool. Uh, I'm still going to figure that out, but. That, that's going to be a second process. So the concatenation will happen, and then we'll do another pass that overlays the text on it. But that'll be next step so first thing is want to get the samples running that was pretty good is what that was so and then do these have the overlays on it? No. So let's do another one of those. So let's capture what we have there, which is, where did we do that from? PyCharm? Yeah. So that was nine. So nine seconds per clip with six second transition. That's going to be pretty solid. I like that it's not exactly three seconds because there's a little bit of that fade in, right? But so one, two, three, start. Three, two, one, done. That's a good transition right there. So then the three, oh, so let's do another one with, so 
So this is nine, nine with six. And I want to do four, four with one. Whoops, look at that. See what we got. That's pretty good. That's really good. So three seconds in general. If you really wanted to do this and make it exactly three seconds. So I'm just trying to think if you, if you wanted to get ridiculous with this, because what I want to do is have transitions at, you know, every 100 milliseconds for a thousand milliseconds for a second. But you could add three seconds. You could generate. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I like if the, this might be an interesting exercise to do. You could generate the length of the clips. Would it always start? Yeah, because it would always start three seconds in, which it would already do, anyways. Basically, I think I'm going to run that. So you'd actually need a couple different commands. Test make transition samples dot pi. Import unit test. That's good. It's good uh test making experience, right? I don't know if he does set up or not. Um, name equals main, unit test, main. Should have a test passing, there we go. And then Soho in here. Kind of ridiculous, but we're going to do it. Actually, let's just get rid of all this stuff right now. Class make transitions. Because really all I need to do is make, like, this can actually go relatively quick because I don't need to build the things. I just need to make the, make the commands. I'll be right back.
Pit stop. Let's do it. There's no way this is going to work. Does that mean it worked? It did work. Okay. It makes sense. It's right there. But I swear, sometimes it doesn't work. All right. Um, okay, so... How do we want to test this? So... What we're looking for is an FFmpeg command. Um, I 
FFmpeg I input mp4 FFmpeg I input 2 or here 2 dash 15 dot mp4 and 1 dash 15 mp4 Obviously, that's not the full FFMP command, but I just want to get something started so we can actually get a command running. If that makes sense. Probably didn't make sense. We'll do this. So this will pass. Um, This is where I'm actually, this will be a good experiment actually to play with, with passing data in and around. Um, so how, Hmm. Just gonna run it. I'm thinking too much about it. I just need to start moving, and I'll like stuff will fall out as I do it. Make sure it's sample. Here we go. Let's get over here. Def that go. Commands equals list turn commands. So this will pass because we're not actually using it. Oh, no. I was wrong. Oh, self? What? That has self. That has self. Ah. That is a frequent habit of mine. Actual equals that. Now it's going to fail. But if we put this in there and hard code it, it'll pass. We get rid of this. Passing. Okay. I guess I should have done a better job of doing this. Um, Yeah, so that is kind of going to be this, right? Oh, they're different too. Yeah, yeah, so I can't actually. Okay, let's actually split them out. Source file command one. And let's get it. Yeah, let's get this into a thing. I was struggling a little bit with having. How'd that jump up there? Oh, it's so weird when it does that. I do not like that hockey. All right, let's put a full command in here. Time one. Okay. So search door search search directory one source directory one fifteen mp four. 
time. We're just going to start with three seconds. And then... Oh, and I guess this can just be one dash temp. Because we're only, we don't need to keep these files around. They're only there. They'll be, the source files will be built. They'll be used. Then they'll be overwritten and runs repeat. So that's our input. Fade's gonna say the same. The oh yeah, the only so the only thing that's gonna be different is the time duration. So that's all crappy because we're not doing the right thing. Oh yeah, because we don't have this. Now it's going to fail because it's passing the wrong thing back, especially when we actually run the tests. Now we're passing. Okay. So now I can figure out how to build this. So what we need is a source directory. And this is nice because I don't have to bang off the, I don't actually have to use the file system for any of this stuff. With the MP3 stuff, I had to go get an MP3 and look at its duration and then use a CSV file and do the other stuff. This is just pure math, like, or pure, the, the system doesn't have to know anything about any of the files. It's just generating stuff, which is nice. Path to source. It's actually what we're going to call this. Let's put this here. So that's going to fail now. Now it'll pass. Now we can take this and do this. And we should be passing. Source, oh, 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 right, because we actually want to pass it into I'm really only going to run this once. How, how would you set that though? I'm just trying to think about this from, again, I'm, it's kind of easy how to do it, but like, how would you do this if you were like really productionalizing it or whatever? Um, I don't necessarily want to pass it on a knit. Because something else would call this, right? But when you call it, it would have to have that stuff. Yeah, 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 you can do that on a net. That's fine. Okay, that makes sense. So this is going to crash because we don't have that. Now we're going to pass. No, we're still failing. Source directory is not defined. Oh, still not using it down here. There you go, passing.
Yeah, it's fine. I was just trying to think if I wanted just to have the full path, but you still need to have a source directory to do this. So that's fine. This is cool. I like this. All right, so we're making we're making that first command. Oh, but we need to do this. Oops, I'm not ah ah I'm not in VI. I'm not in VI. So then, then we just need output. We need an output directory. I'm gonna break this a couple different ways. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Should you do? You should actually have this here, right? Even though it's duplicated. I actually don't know what the best practice is there. Just to make sure, like, I don't know, you know if something changes. Because it's changing it like it's going to be doing it the same way so if something path fun goes funky there yeah i think you want to do this i think you want hard-coded values explicitly in fact i'm relatively certain you do okay let's just do this just because that'll get the format the same Oh, well, it's actually not bad too, because this is what you can have, and you're just trying to fill that back in. Right? Yeah, that's actually not bad at all, because the this, this structure is what you want. Like, you know that that's what you want. It's just about filling these things in. That makes a tremendous amount of sense. So, like, you can just do that to copy it over and run it. It's going to pass. And then you can start putting it. Okay. Something just clicked there in my brain. So you can run that, pass. 115 is the one, and then we're going to want an output directory. So this is going to fail because we don't, we're not accepting that yet. But if we do this, it should pass. And then we should be able to take this here. Whoops. Uh oh, that was unexpected. Oh, path output. Oh, yeah, so I've got it hard coded differently. This would be output root. I think. Yep, there we go. Okay. See, this is where I'm trying to figure out where. Yeah, 
Yeah, we don't want to have to pass around these value, the duration value. We want, we just want this to be able to say go or whatever and have it know what's going to happen there. So let's do 3.1. For I got to go back and look at my samples. So that was four four one. Four four one. Okay, I think I'm there. Four, four. So those were four seconds apiece with a half second in the middle. Or with one second in the middle. So that's three. Okay, let's leave that at three. I may adjust these, but this is okay for now. I don't I don't need to work on the math yet. I just need to work on the functionality. Okay, we can do the math later. I just wanna make sure I've got the thing lined up. So, but I do kind of need to get the math. Um, So those were four seconds of peace with the one second transition. So if we have, so that's the command we want to build is four. So what we need is This can go away. This can go away for a second. MT transition time equals one. Oops. Ah, getting a little frisky here. So that's not going to change anything. But what we can do is take this as three plus transition self transition time. Because it does, this will give us three, always give us three seconds around. around the video. So like if this was if that was zero, it would just clip to us instantly. Yeah, so that I think that means that the yeah, the transition is always gonna start like here. And sometimes it'll go super fast, sometimes it will go whatever, 
and then there will be that much of an ending. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That's right. Okay. So that's passing. Okay, so there's our FFmpeg command for the first one. And then let's just make sure 1.25. So this should be 4.25. I want to integer and I want to float in there. There you go. And just make sure it freaks. There you go. Undo. Go. Good. Okay, so that's the first command. So that that generates This is actually this should be path to source again. Cuz these still go into the source directory. So that's going to fail. That's okay. So we're going to put this back in here. And now we're passing. OK. Cool. OK. Uh, this could be funny. I haven't, I don't really, well, I don't even have Scratchpad in here. So this will be super fun. I'm assuming it's a repository. Yeah, we got all kinds of good stuff in there, huh? Make transition samples. Okay. So then what we want to do is basically the same thing for def test source file command two. Source file command two self go. So expected. FFmpeg, yes, I input slash input. Oh, well, so that always, that means there's always a path because otherwise, like, otherwise you'd have, if you didn't have a path, you'd start with slash and that would freak it out. Um, that's fine for right now. FFmpeg. Well, actually, actually, oh, 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 I can just do this. Get my commands. Fade out video only. Touch arm. So I really wouldn't need to do so this. We'll start by dealing with these. I really don't know why those are there. We're gonna take those out and see if they go. Oh, the other one should be in quotes too, but again, we'll be okay for now. This is a one-off script. I just I'm I'm doing the test thing as exercise.
So source path 215, also path to source that two. Uh, we're gonna do five dot five oh five dot seven five. Just see if we're passing there. All right, we got it. So all the stuff's in. Now this will break because we need this. I could do some basic copy and paste here, but that's uh, it's easy to get in trouble on that. So that'll pass. Let's just go ahead and do this. Command equals that. Because what's going to happen here, actual, as soon as we do this, it's going to crash. But if we put this in here, it'll go. Yep, OK, cool. We can drop this. And then what we should do is MT transition time equals 2.75. I think that's right. All right. We're actually not ready to use that yet, but that'll be there in a second. Because we need to do this. Passing. This. Whoops. Paste. Go. Passing. And then I think we can just do this here too, right? There we go. Okay, so there's our Yeah, so there's our commands to make the input files. Let's start a like some output on this so we can start seeing these things happen because then we can actually test that these commands are working. Run make commands. Pi. Pring, try print. Okay, so that works. It's connecting. We need source directory and output directory. There's our source directory. Output directory, don't actually need yet, but we'll put it in. So we run that, nothing happens. But if we do Yeah, durations equals zero, 100, 1,000, 10,000 for duration in 
durations empty transition time equals duration singular then print pretty good stuff I don't know what this is inside your mind gypsy and the cat okay I'll take it so what am I doing have a directory transition time oh here we go source file command one So if we run that, there's a whole bunch of commands. Got some weird quit things going on there. T3, we're missing the last, somehow we're missing the end. Oh, two format, and then you need See, that's the danger with copy and paste, but also, you know, whatever. So these are going to fail now because those aren't in there. So all the tests are passing. There we go. All right, so let's actually run two of these. Maybe. There we go. There we go. No such file or directory. Oh, come on. Oh, I deleted the 15s, didn't I? Oh, 115, one raw 15. Okay, I didn't delete them. I just renamed them. See, this really shouldn't be hard coded in, right? But so those will both fail. That passes. So now if we run. Hopefully we get one that runs. There we go. And then the next one should run hopefully two. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do the last two. Yeah, so this is why like I don't have to mess with the file system during any of the testing stuff. This is just making sure that the commands I have built work. But once I've got that, like it's fine. Like, and all the math and all the testing and stuff was there. So the next one will be the concat commands. So there's one. Here's two. Air and sling filter fade with args type out duration one start time. What do we do? Start time is empty.
Oh, start time. Ah, right. We got to calculate the start time. Okay, so... It needs to start... Well, if it's one second, it starts one second less than that thing. So it's going to be 4.75. Uh, which order does it need to be? So there's path path. I think it's start times next and then timeout, right? Oh, we got to do it twice. And then TO on the path. Yeah, so 4.75 twice. So this will break. So right now I'm just hard coding it because I want to get passing. And then we'll come back and fix it. Does that pass? No. Did not pass. What happened? Oh, I didn't do... Apparently... Aha. Try that. There you go. Okay. Passing. So three plus transition time. This would just be two plus transition time, I think. Because we're passing in 2.75, right? And it goes to 4.75. Yeah, so two plus transition time twice. Okay. Yeah, again, hard coded stuff in here is not great, but it's a one off script. I'm spending a lot of time on a one off script, right? We could have done this pretty quickly, just like banging through it. But trick, of course, is like this thing's going to take a few hours, or several hours probably to run. So I'd kind of like to make sure it's right as much as possible. And also doing the crafting of having it nice and, you know, crafted. It's nice. I was just trying to think if you could pass. So I'm trying to figure out if you can... So if this process stops, you could start it over if you're passing yeses and it would just redo everything. But I'm trying to figure out if like, does FFmpeg have a no flag? No flag, it's like no flag. Do not. I don't, I want the opposite of that. Skip. No. Yes. That's what I want. And global. Do not overwrite output files and exit immediately. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So then we can actually set that.
I like that. So if we run this again, there's two. All right, cool. We can hide that. I'm not sure if that was still open. It was. Sorry, it was a nap. Screen's pretty good, but do these take longer to do, huh? So this should be the 10 second. Wait, why is that 15 seconds? Because I. That's 15 seconds too. Why are these 15 seconds? They're supposed to be shorter than that. Oops. Time 1003. Okay. Yeah, that would be a problem. What's happening here? Fade and start TO. So this went to three. This went to a hundred and three. Those are supposed to be milliseconds. I'm glad that didn't try to make a 10,000 second long thing. Or maybe it did, who knows. I feel like that would have been a negative impact to my thing. Start time 12, end time 13. Three dot zero. 3.1, okay. 4, so let's do... Let's do that. So nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half. Okay, so these should be 12 and a half.
definitely just spilled. It's okay though. I got this. Just don't step in it with the cold sock. Let's run that. All right, check the first one. So this temp one is now 13 seconds, so it'd be 12 and a half. Today's operation is to guide in the unpiloted ISS Progress 76 cargo ship, the Russian cargo craft that launched from the Baikonur Cosmic Zone just... Cool. All right. Okay, so that makes those. And then the next thing you need to do is make the FF, the concat command. And that's easy because it's always the same command. The only thing you need to do is update the JSON file. JSON file, that's fine. Let's do this here. Actually, we're going to need to do this slash this. This is not a good way to do that because, like I said, it has vulnerabilities. If you don't, whoops, especially if you do that, that'd be bad. Format. If you end up not having a root, uh, it messes with you. Or if you don't have a directory, it tries to go to root. Wouldn't be able to write there, but. Yes, yeah, so we're going to, this is not that. This is this. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, we do, the command does change every time. Temp one dot mv4. Again, these should be variables. Like I know this is gonna bite me. So there's missing commas right here and here. We might as well put one here too. So root and then file name is gonna be what's the file name gonna be? Transition underscore fade underscore seven fifty dot mv four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Why is that not happy yet? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's wrong? Why are you angry? There's no comma there. That's why. Actual, so we're just gonna copy, same thing. Self start equal, expected, actual. Test it, make sure it works, cool. And then here we're just gonna do MT concat command. This will break. We add it here.
Command equals nothing. Turn command. It'll pass. Actual. Get ready for this to fail. We make it pass. Now we can do the work. Get that out of there for now. Just test the full suite just for fun. Okay, cool. So output root directory, cool. Path the source, cool. Path the source, cool. This should be a two. Let's see if that still passes. Passes. And then we're just going to do transition time equals. Yeah, so I guess we want to do as 750. So we want to do it as milliseconds, which means I'm going to need to come back here and deal with these. That's OK. We can do that in a second. And then mt dot. Transition type equals fade. This could be gross, but I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, we should make sure to copy this over. Don't figure out where. Fade. Oh, I did time, then I got it. I just reverse this. So that's good, but these I need to adjust, but I don't want to break green. So I'm going to throw them to another. Test. Call that the dev, and we're going to call this 1025 or 1250. So this is going to break because this doesn't exist. So this one, I probably could have gotten away with this, but So we do this and run. Okay. This way we're just we we work in green. So
and we're going to want the transitions to come across as milliseconds. So it's really just three plus self transition time divided by 100, right? That broke a lot. How about a comma? Think a comma would help? Fifteen point five. What? Four point two five. Let's get back to green. All right, let's try and make it up here. So Transition seconds. <coughs> Transition time. Wait, is that how you do divide it by? Float 12. Wait, you got to divide it by 1,000. One point two five. There we go. See if that doesn't get to four point two five. There we go. Okay. Now if we run that again, there's some passing. Okay, and that's really what we want to have happen. So we want this one to go away. We don't even need to forward it because it's only doing its one thing. We're just gonna name that one real. Yeah, because those things are independent. That's perfect. I think we can do that, right? Run it. Yeah, sweet. It's nice to have completely independent mo modules and methods and functions and stuff. Get rid of this. Uh, and this one, yeah, okay. So that was, okay. I got my head around that now. So I can actually just, I'll just do this one straight. So this would be that. So this will fail because I got to reapply the logic up here. Transition seconds is going to be three plus that divided by one thousand, right? Oh, that's transition seconds. No, that's that should be clip seconds is what that should be.
Oh, you've got to do two things. And then fade seconds equals two plus all this jazz. All right, worked. <laughs> I was getting a little, I was making a few jumps there. I was like, okay, hopefully this will go. Uh, and then let's call this fade or clip seconds too. All right, let's run the whole suite. Output root. So this is. Let me make sure we're actually doing this right, right? Concat command. Yeah. Yeah, see, this doesn't care how long it is. It's just mushing the stuff together with the transition in it. And then transition gets defined in this JSON. Okay, this is cool. We're close. So run commands, duration. Transition type equals, let's do fade. Print empty cat command, right? Yup. Yeah, and it doesn't actually have any idea of any of this stuff. That's awesome. So let's do this. Oh, there is one thing that we have to do on the file system, which is write the, the JSON. I guess we're going to run these files too, but like... Oh, actually, we don't have to. I mean, we have to write it out at some point, but we can do it with this one. We can test the fact that it's working in the other one. So to do that real quick, source. So let's actually do this. JSON path equals some path for transitions.json. We're going to add in a JSON path here because we need that. There we go. Cool. JSON path, JSON path. And then this becomes our JSON path. Which is the first one. Whoops. That's funny. I'm actually surprised Python like PyCharm, if you do that and then paste something with single quotes, doesn't 
just give you the one pair. Okay, so this is going to crash because that's not the right path. But hopefully this works. There we go. Okay. So now if we run our commands again. Okay, I think this is a legit command now. Nope. Oh, I didn't actually put anything in the JSON. There you go. I have no idea if it was the connected up there. And it might have been actually, because it was the last one. So wait, how long were the temp ones? They were 13 seconds. Yeah, that may have actually been okay. Transition fade, 9.5. 10, 11, 12 and a half, yeah. Oh, I should change that back to... Milliseconds. Wait, this is 750. How would that work? I'm confused. Three it should start. Oh, well, I don't know. It's not on the right thing. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh, it was only a one second wipe. Okay, okay, that's right. Why is that 9.5 there? That's the wrong number. It should be the number of milliseconds that came in. Transition type, transition time. Oh, TO3.095. Oh, something screwed there, too. Oh, I didn't adjust. Wait, everything's all messed up. What's going on? All right, let's. Let's look at which one? Three zero 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 one. Yeah, something bumped. Okay. We're up. I knew that was going to make it hard to see. Okay. So here's the first one. Fade and fat out three zero zero. That went to three seconds. Okay, that's all kinds of messed up.
Oh, 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 right. Zero, one hundred, seven fifty. Eight, fifth, four, whatever, four, two, five, zero. All right, get rid of that. 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 So this was the first one with zero. So it went to two to three seconds. Okay, perfect. And then down here, it's cutting to three seconds with a time start of two seconds to get the fade. And that was FF concat fade zero. Okay, cool. So here's 3.1. Time start 2.1 to 3.1. So that still gives us our second. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the bottom one. Oops. So 7.25, what did we pass it? Four, five, six, seven point two five, right? Also 7.25 for the clip and starting at 6.25. Okay, now we got the math right. And this is outputting to 4250. Sweet. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna run all three of these last ones and just see what happens. Hopefully they don't take too long. That didn't take awful. Cause how long are these clips? Seven seconds? Seven and a half? Seven and a half cents. Really not a heck of a lot. Oh, actually, hang on. Let's actually do the thing that it says it's going to do. Um, no, warp, but 4.25 seconds. I was gonna say it's not 4.25 seconds, but it is 4.25 seconds. Try that. Not awful. Kilobits per second over here keeps dropping down to 1400, back up to 2400. It's kind of disconcerting. All right, so output, fade. So I'm going to get rid of this. This should be the legit one. One, two, three, and fade out. That's pretty slick.
All right, I'm going to raise the fade in a little bit. more. Yeah, so the only thing left to do really is to make the JSON. But also passes, right? Right. Making ffmpeg and ffmpeg concat commands. So def test transition JSON string. Uh, expected equals so this is a string, but I'm actually going to flip it into json.loads so that I don't have to worry about like the actual formatting of it. Eh, we can do it. That's fine. Because it's pretty straightforward, right? It's just going to be this. Actual. So that'll pass. Transition JSON string. So this will fail. Uh oh, everything just locked up. Kind of weird when that happens. Wish that would jump over there. Try the JSON string, so this will now pass. Now it'll fail. Now to pass. Cool. So if we do this with this and this. Oh. Invalid format specifier. What? Hmm. Oh, 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 this always gets me. We got to do that. There we go. And duration. Let's do transition time. Let's 
going to fail because it's got the wrong thing I'm running. Oh, a little big. What happened? Did I goof again? Oh, need a third. Aha. Uh -huh. Ba da. Try again. Now it should fail because the number's not right. Yep. But if we do this. And do that. Link's eating my leg. There's our test suite. So there's our JSONs. Uh, yeah, so transitions equals fade. Where'd that list of all our transitions go? There's our transitions. Yeah, sorry, there's one other thing we want to do on this command, which is to run with nose for the Oh, we need to check and see actually Temp one, temp two, temp one, temp two. Wait a minute, concat command. Yeah, so we need to do. Output file name. I'm going to do this way this time since I got this. Output file name. Transition, fade, 100.mp4. Let's make sure we're passing. Output file name. Turn file name. So this will pass. There's definitely a gnat getting around me. This will fail. This will pass. I hope. Yep. So now we make it for real. Which is this. Transition type. Uh, 
transition time. I'm just gonna set those. This is gonna fail because those aren't there. We do that. And we do this. We should be passing. Where's our concat command? Because we should use this here. Let's make sure everything still passes. Everything does. These numbers are duplicated in a couple places. We should make this happen. Actually, it doesn't really, not really, because it's they're each independent. So never mind. They don't necessarily need to be hard coded, but like that's fine. Uh, so now if we run this, and then we say print empty. Transition JSON string. Does that really end with fade? No. I have something hard coded. No, I don't. Transition type. How's this fade? Fade. Fade duration 100. Fade duration 4250. Fade duration 0. Fade. Why is it not? Oh, because maybe I'm not. Doing this. So we build the two source files, we can cat them. Oh, actually, you want this to happen here. with open Yeah, these really should all be Up there. With open JSON path. Right. As JSON file, JSON dump,
So output file path equals output directory empty output file name. Which really should just be called, but whatever. If not path output file name is file. We do all this stuff. From pathlib import path actually let's do this if his file print already exists output file else do all that run output file name is not defined output file path how about we try that is that defined yeah already exists no done if is file None of those exist. Also, there should be a bunch of them. There, Mosaic. And just wait until I add in all the uh, different stuff. Why? So if output file is file, it already exists. There's no way that already exists. Is there? Oh, come on. What am I missing? If that path is a file, maybe it's this file. That's better. So slow it down because it's got to make that file a bunch of times. Also, it has to make that file with JSON. So we should import JSON. It's a JSON string. Oh, oh, oh. We don't have to dump JSON. We just write it. Okay. That's what's going on. It wrote that all those times? Yeah, look at that. I 
Okay, so now we just add into our durations. So let's, okay, yeah, we don't need the JSON stuff anymore. So let's write it directly, that's cool. So let's do this. Actually, let's just go ahead and do it. This is good, who is this? Tear me up, Bob Moss, nice. Spotify coming up with some new music these days. Excellent. That's funny because it wouldn't have been that hard to actually get here without the tests, but practicing the tests. Also, some of the stuff is ugly. So that's a te okay, that freaked me out. And I was like, why is that hard coded? This is really good. I don't know how to turn it up because I got six different volume controls. Bob Moses. Oh, I can't show that. YouTube will yell at me. So the last thing to do is just set up the durations, which if we're gonna do, we're gonna do. Which I think we actually clip it. Where did this one go? Down here. It's a ridiculous number. It's not, it's probably not a huge difference between whatever. Yeah, we just do. It's gonna take some time. Yep. All right, so the last one it did was wipe up. So let's just run these last ones just to see what happens. Look at I'm enjoying this like automating Automating computers, automating video stuff. There's that one, and let's put them together. I've got it on loop, by the way. It's 
a little beat to it. Or you get the like roll to it. Transcode. Now the question is, can I run this from the command line? Because in the past, that's been a problem. What's the name of a uh, concat transition samples? Output. One, two, three. That's pretty. That's pretty much it. So it starts one, two, three, and then it starts coming in. That's pretty fun. See, now I got to figure out how to like. So you definitely want, so 10 seconds is good. I like that a lot. All right, let's get rid of these. And so it should happen. Actually, this will be helpful because we run this again. It should tell us that, yeah, already exists. Good. Okay. So that's working. And these are all long, hard-coded paths, so. That's pretty cool. Oh, actually, let me do one other thing. Uh, let me get the rest of this out of here. Let's just do a little last minute cleanup here and see if there's anything just like spacing stuff. Now the question is, is that going to work? It does work, except for the part where I forgot to actually run those commands. Cool. So now write the JSON.
We're going to drop that because we're just doing that straight here. So slowly but surely, that should fill up. So it's making these temp ones, which will be different. So, so there's three seconds. Uh, An optimization would have actually been to do all the zeros first. That's going to go way faster. That's going to go way faster. Because what's happening is it's going through and so we want to do this first and then this. And this comes up here, and this comes down here. Because we only need to make the... source files when they change. Make the JSON, yeah, so, okay, that's gonna be way faster. Because otherwise you're making, if there are eight timestamps, you'd be making it in, in three transitions, or if there are four transitions and four timestamps, you'd go one, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four, right? Versus one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. If that makes sense. Um, oh, crap, it's still going. Stop. Oh, my God. Is that going to go forever? That's probably still running. I don't know how you stop something like that if, you, if you're running a bash script. Like, cause I control C out of the main one, but like all the other ones were somehow stacked. I don't know, yeah, that's really weird. Whatever, we're gonna try it again, see what happens. Dev, scratchpad, ffmpeg, concat transition samples. Python three. Run, make transitions. Trying to see if it saw one that already existed. Oh, it's not, yeah, not yet, because it's going to make there's an already existed right there. So now it's, wow, those went fast. Wait, this is wrong. Did I get my logic wrong? For duration, for transition and transition, I don't understand what's happening. Oh, it's doing all the zeros. Oh, this was when it was trying to go through earlier and do them. And it was still making progress, even though I thought I killed it. Yeah, these will actually all be basically the same. It'll be a smash cut. 
because regardless of the transition, if it's zero milliseconds, it's just smushed. But we'll just get the thing going. I won't upload those. It's not worth trying to stop it again. Even though, how many of them are actually are there? I don't even know. One, two, a bunch. There are 72. Wow. I should try and stop it. But how do you, well, here, just do that. So you can see when going. So if we start at 250, it should start at 250 and then jump every 250, it should go. I don't see it running anymore. Okay, we're gonna start all the way over. Dev FFmpeg, nope. Dev Scratchpad, FFmpeg, concat, samples. So these should be the 250s. Bounce duration 250. That's cool, it prints out the JSON, so it gives you just like a split second to see what it's actually about to do. <clears throat> that looks like a bad glitch. Yeah, I'm just going to put all these up on YouTube. I wonder how much space this is going to take. Hopefully I don't run my hard drive out. How big are these? Those are too mag. I'm not worried about those. It's all their friends. So 72... How big are the other one? How big are the big ones? I don't know. So 15 seconds is three meg. That seems wrong. So column seven meg a piece. Times 72. So times 40, that's right, if that's megabytes, so that means it's 20 gig, am I reading that right? I mean, they're only like 15 seconds long, so. I mean, the longest ones are 15 seconds long. These are six seconds long. Circle crop. I blinked right when it happened. Yeah, I don't expect most of these to be good at the starts or at the low end or the high end, but well, that actually wasn't bad. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it very often, but. You know, it's funny is I really kind of want to make the input five. I don't 
know what this is, but it's awesome. I've heard it before, though. I can't remember what it is. Reminds me of Art of the Noise, kind of. I just want to, I want the opening to be just 200 milliseconds faster. Uh, 250. Yeah, this is cool. This is this was the last thing I was kind of trying to figure out how to look at for actually giving, setting the parameters for the automation, right? The automation's in place and I can randomize everything and set. I just want to kind of like define the parameters of like how often I want to see things, which things are going to be in the mix, et cetera. So this will be helpful. And like, I figured if I was going to do this, I might as well do it in a, like a really regimented way and then also do it in a way that I can just like upload and have it you know push it out there because like I've seen I was looking at the GL transition stuff and like it's really kind of only got one and you gotta go look at it or whatever but it'd be nice to see it like in practice right um because the one sample that they had took like I don't know two seconds to do the moves and like some of those did not look good at all but it might look good at you know two tenths of a second or at five seconds or 10 seconds or whatever. So, uh, but yeah, I'm capping it. I think I'm capping it at 10 seconds, right? Is the longest one I'm going. I figure anybody else can go do their own stuff after that. Uh, what was my last one? Yeah, 10 seconds. And it's funny, I thought that might be too long, but I still wanted to push that far, but I did one of the like circular opening ones or whatever. I forget which one it was called, but it actually looked pretty good at, uh, at 10 seconds. Um, so, all right, let's see if these are going. Let's watch that opening. There we go. Bloop. It's like a quick click shutter. Yeah, and then the last thing that I can do is... if I want to, and I probably will, is go through and just overlay a piece of text on them saying which filter it is, just like in, in, the, lower, in the lower left corner or something. If I was smarter, I might have actually put these in different folders, but Oh, they'll like, no, no, this is okay. They'll actually, they'll, they'll line up. All the bounces will line up. Yeah, but so I did the names first. It's better than doing the times first. Yeah, the names are first. So they'll just, as the other ones come in, they'll go there. That's cool. That will give us the ordering that we desire. Oh, it looks like these actually. Yeah, okay, cool. So I wasn't sure about the names. I figured the names that I was grabbing off the site would be it, but the, like the capitalization and stuff, uh, I was not sure of uh so glad to see that's the case Let's see this one last one interesting film burn all right we got to look at film burn and then we're going to call it night dreamy zoom first Whoosh. all right film burn oh glitch displays i saw that one i don't like that one it kind of makes me brain go weird that wasn't bad all right cool i'm just gonna let this run uh i mean that's kind of the whole purpose right let the computer do the work we'll do one last commit
only build inputs once per duration. I also changed the input time there or whatever, but that's fine. Cool. All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you. Take it easy. And uh, until next time, cheers.